They must reduce everything to an element or byproduct of operate out of emotion, not strategy, logic, or reason. They are guided by their feelings, not intellect. To them, a legacy is nothing more than f***ing and making a baby. They are reductionists. What is a legacy? A gift by will, especially of money or other personal property, to bequest. Something transmitted by or received from an ancestor or predecessor or from the past. In order for something to be a legacy, there must be a transmission of money or resources. Being a buck on a plantation does not give you a legacy. Don't get it twisted. You're just a buck on a plantation. Think fast. Who invented dynamite? Dynamite was invented to create. Dynamite was invented to help people in building and mining. But people began using the invention for war. They used the invention to destroy to hurt and to kill people. That was not his intention. He wanted his inventions to help people. So before he died, he decided to leave all of the money that he earned from his inventions to create five special awards. He decided to leave all of his money to create the five Nobel Prizes. The man who invented dynamite was Alfred Nobel. The Nobel Prize of Physiology or Medicine. The Nobel Prize in Chemistry. The Nobel Prize in Physics. The Nobel Prize in Literature. And the Nobel Peace Prize. The man who made millions of dollars by inventing dynamite did not want death and destruction to be his legacy. That man chose to take all of his money and create a legacy that's rooted in peace, academics, and science. You know his name because of the Nobel Peace Prize. You know his name because of peace. You do not know his name because of dynamite. You do not know his name because of war and destruction. That is a legacy. Don't get the shit twisted. <laughs> That's a legacy to you and not to everyone because everyone have their own definition of legacy, of what a legacy is. Forget about the Google definition. Forget about the dictionary definition of legacy. Like I told you, where I come from, we don't pay, play, we don't pay so much emphasis on wealth, on money, on inheritance, on, I mean, acquiring all the wealth in the world. Because we know, of course, having wealth and money is power. But there is also power, love and humanity in community. We believe so much in community. We believe in continuity. We want to see people happy. We want to see people in the community. We don't think about who owns what, who owns more than what, or what we are going to leave down for our kids. Of course, it's good to have that legacy. But talking about, in his case, this is what I always say on this channel. I think most black Americans, when they hear anything about black people or they, they always feel that they need to 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 take to to usurp like to 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 take the course like everything should be about them no it's not all about you you had your experience your ancestors had their experience in the plantation of course but they slavery has ended long time ago so you need to build your own legacy stop claiming that you were just a block on the plantation and how do you how do they expect you to have a legacy, to leave a legacy? You can still build your legacy from zero, from scratch. You don't need to, to, to go back to be, in, to be stuck in the boots of your ancestors in the, as a block in the plantation. You need to leave that plantation mentality. You need to leave the slavery mentality back and build your own legacy. Like I said, in the Western world, it's more, much more important to build wealth, to build money, and to build a legacy than in Ground Zero in Africa. Like I told you, we don't place so much emphasis on these things, and we are still happy, and we are still very satisfied. I mean, I don't know, because the research is always biased, most people in Africa are the happiest people in the world. They are the happiest people, I will tell you this. They don't have anything, they don't have so much money but they're happy